Suntem aici să vizionăm filmul Întoarcere la Bizantin, viața lui Lilian Broca, care a fost acceptat la multe festivaluri, după cât am auzit. Eu abia aștept să văd filmul, nu l-am văzut încă, am văzut numai trailerul și pare extrem, extrem de interesant și frumos. În numele consulatului și ca un reprezentant al comunității românești din BR am participat și am hotărât să facem o mică seară românească în care să prezentăm un, un fapt de cultură ca să fie cunoscută România și mai mult în această zonă. Hello, my name is Suzanne Dugan. I'm with the Arlene Francis Center in Santa Rosa, California. We're proud to be hosting the Santa Rosa International Film Festival. It's the 25th annual. And tonight we are very much looking forward to a film called Return to Byzantium, The Art and Life of Lillian Broca. We're so proud to have like various cultures here and to be able to bring to this community and communities everywhere through this film and through this f festivals like this to really um, show people what it's like around the world because we don't get the opportunity to travel a lot, most of us, but film is a perfect opportunity to show people what it's like in the lives that people have lived. So we're very proud to be here and thank you so much for choosing the Arlene Francis Center to be your hosts. We are at the Santa Rosa International Film Festival and uh, in just an hour or so the our film uh, return to byzantium is going to be screened in front of all these people who came here specifically to watch our movie and i'm very excited the romanian consulate and the romanian community have helped us they have contributed with wine and cheese and there's going to be a reception very soon i'm all excited about this i'll get to meet Uh, quite a few Romanians and I am also excited that they're going to see a film about Romania and about my childhood and I hope they will approve. Hi, I'm Nancy Mills Pipgrass, the editor of Mosaic Art Now, the only mosaic-centric magazine in the United States. Lillian Broca was one of eight artists selected for our exhibition in print in 2011. Her Queen Esther series has been an inspiration to mosaic artists all over the world. Here, Italy, I get email from people daily about how her work inspires them. The stories behind them are gorgeous, and the woman herself is beautiful. Hi, I'm Stephen Ashton. I'm the artistic director and founder of the Wine Country Film Festival, uh, now known as also as the Santa Rosa International Film Festival. And uh, this is a spectacular evening for us because, you know, one of our original series all the time has been the arts in film. And in this case, we have a terrific uh, movie that really traces the inner workings of a magical ancient, ancient tradition of mosaics from Byzantium. And uh, we have uh, the tradition that goes all the way back in time and time and time, but is carried forth today by Lillian Broca, the subject of this wonderful new film. And uh, we have uh, some examples of Lillian's work behind me. So we'll be able to uh, not only see the work, but also taste a beautiful arrangement of Romanian wines, which couldn't be more fitting for the Wine Country Film Festival because we celebrate international culture and part of the way people exchange their culture is through their cuisine and their art and their music and of course their wine. I am uh, Teresa Del Piero. I am on the board of directors of the Carmel Art and Film Festival and a patron and uh, have attended all four of the festivals so far. And I'm with Stephen Moore, who is the, um, what is your official title? Artistic Director, Executive, Executive Director. Director of Pacific Repertory Theater, uh, who is the, um, the host, owner. Yeah, yeah, yeah owner like of the facility yeah. of, of, uh, of, the, of the festival right. here. And the Golden Bow Playhouse, is, it has a long, long history of theater and film, and it's a natural for us to use as a venue and this film was fantastic. It's such a pleasure to have the film festival here. As Teresa mentioned, 
this building has a has a long history of film and theater and music and dance uh, going back um, uh, to the 1950s and and this site in Carmel was a performing arts site and film site and theater and art site going back over a hundred years. We love having art films at the Carmel Art and Film Festival. It really is an important part of uh, of the festival for us, um, and we we really love all the art documentaries that we are screening this year and international films. So yes. you know, oh Canada. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and this year we have fabulous, fabulous films. We have big films. Also have some really, really. Awesome. I, I don't want to say smaller films, but they're films that um, maybe don't have the big budgets, maybe don't have the big actors, but the passion from the filmmakers is just amazing. I was so moved by the movie and cried towards the end. Not only the wonderful artwork that she does, but her whole life and regaining her roots and her passion and who she is. It's a very moving film, and also to get an education how beautiful the work is and how long it must have taken her. Thank you so much for showing this film. I was moved and inspired by this film, and I really can relate because I have some roots. I have Judaic roots, and from what I know, some of it's from Romania, Poland, and Minsk. And um, I just am floored by your work. It's just beautiful, light, lovely. And I hope someday I, I meet you personally to say thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Woody Bevel. I'm actually on the board here of the festival. Uh, and what I was really struck by is that it was light and the wonderful use of light it went way by beyond the colors, and it, it was just very, very striking. And then I put this in the context of so sort of the last 60 years of art, and we've gone through abstract expressionists, we go through pop, we go through sort of all the latest forms of contemporary. And I look at these mosaics and I say, just complete departure, and yet completely modern and completely fun. And uh, just very striking, beautiful, for God's sake keep it up, train people to follow in your footsteps. I just wanted to say that I was um, impressed with the emotions that you were able to project uh, of, of the subject, not, you know, just with chunks of glass. You know, you were able to see the beautiful color and lights, but also the emotions that really came through. Mosaic is something um, difficult, beautiful, artisanal, you have to do it piece by piece and all of that. All that sense of warmth and dedication, it was very well pictured. Of course, I mean, when we have movies about visual things, especially about art, naturally the art takes off. It's better than everything else. The artist, I believe she's from my hometown, Bucharest, uh, was on hand and it was interesting that she, most of the movie she was uh, uh, narrating herself it was a very good narration and it was not self-indulgent or anything like that. It was a perfect little documentary that I heard after that. Took five years in the making. Well, <laughs> Ars Longa Vita Brevis. So I lent myself to this because I really enjoyed it and I hope that uh, uh, Lillian Broca goes to more successes and that the, the people who uh, realize the movie make more movies. Sunt într-adevăr niște cuvinte de prisos care s-ar putea spune, dar parcă nu mă pot abține. Și în mine n-aș vrea ca să vedeți nimic altceva decât acela care am participat la un moment cu totul și cu totul deosebit, de o încărcătură extraordinară. După 1989, când tatăl meu a murit în evenimentele ce premergau Revoluția din 89 din România, mi-am propus atunci ca să nu plâng. Dar ceea ce am văzut astăzi, mi-a smuls după vreo 20 și ceva de ani mai bine, lacrimi, dar niște lacrimi atât de respect, dar și de bucurie că într-adevăr niște oameni de undeva din Vancouver, din Canada, au reușit să se adune și să realizeze o astfel de operă de artă în care atât aspectele legate din viața privată sunt îmbinate cu realizările cu totul și cu totul deosebite în plan artistic și profesional. 
Este extraordinar cum rădăcinile ca atare nu se pierd, ci ele se constituie totdeauna în vase comunicante pe unde seva existențională curge și unde devenirea de la mic la mare, de la copil la adult, de la un neștiutor la un artist atât de excepțional cum este Lilian și indiferent dacă ești de o anumită religie sau ai crescut într-un anumit mediu sau te-ai format după aia în anumite condiții istorice și chiar geografice, iată că poți să transmiți de acolo de unde te afli la un moment dat niște semnale foarte clare. E bine ca românii atât din România să înțeleagă un mesaj de acest fel, dar categoric și românii, din punctul meu de vedere, din diasporă, din comunitate, că este bine să se întoarcă cu fața spre România și să ajute în momentele grele de cum până acele rădăcini care niciodată nu vor dispărea. Well, my name is Vera Mioilic and I'm the director and founder of the Southeast European Film Festival here in Los Angeles. So we've been around for 10 years and um, I'm, I'm, I'm delighted to see this film because I think it's uh, um, Very rarely do we see a movie that uh, connects us with uh, the artistic, the cultural past. It's usually about problems, which is fine, you know, we're okay with showing films about problems. But I think, you know, uh, what is overlooked is the rich cultural history, the heritage, um, the artistic achievements that one can find, just like the, uh, uh, the, the Byzantine mosaic uh, art. And I, it's wonderful to see an artist, a contemporary artist, recreating that, and also to see a filmmaker who captures that on film. And uh, because you know that's the way for others to learn about this. Not everybody can go to an exhibition in uh, Canada or you know to Greece to see a lecture, but you know through film, we definitely can reconnect with uh, our cultural heritage. It may not be mine or yours, but it's you know uh, a common heritage that I think is very important, otherwise without pass, we're lost. So, thank you so much for making the movie. I appreciate that. Mulțumesc pentru această oportunitate să o descoperim pe artista Lilian Broca. A fost foarte interesant, bine făcut, emoționant. Și arta ei care reunește cele trei componente de care vorbea criticul de artă este într-adevăr extraordinară. Mulțumim mult pentru această oportunitate. Impresionant, emoționant, nostalgic, fericire că am cunoscut asemenea artista. Felicitări! Numele meu este Adrian Bot, aceasta este soția mea, Simona, Simona Bot, locuim în Los Angeles, California. Am fost profund impresionați de filmul uh, lui Lilian Broca. Uh, arta dumnea ei este extraordinară, uh, este într-adevăr un blend senzațional între vest și est, rădăcinile iudaice, cât și cele creștine, se văd deosebit de pronunțat în arta dumnei. Îi dorim toate cele bune, suntem foarte mândri că este parte din cultura noastră și suntem foarte, foarte fericiți să, să zicem, să spread the word despre acest film minunat. Vă mulțumim foarte mult, felicitări, un film extraordinar! Return to Byzantium is one of my favorite uh, uh, films and it was really such an honor to have that come across our desk and be able to schedule and screen it here. So uh, we wish the filmmaker lots of luck and if it's uh, screening over there in Canada, please go see it, support the filmmaker. It's a wonderful, wonderful film and we're very proud to have it here. Lillian Brooke and I shared a studio for s s over six years when I lived in Vancouver, British Columbia. Uh, we shared a studio and we taught for the same provincial college. It was, um, it was wonderful years. This is the third time I have seen the film. And what I want to say is that each time I have seen it, it becomes more beautiful and reveals more. I would look forward to seeing this film again and again. It is, uh, Lillian is a incredible artist and her dedication to her work and to her life has been, uh, it's been inspiring. And I just want to say that uh, 
uh, Lillian and her art has enriched my life well beyond my expectations. Hi, uh, my name is Carol Shuker Oweijan and I'm very excited to have Lilian Broca here in Southern California and um, I love the movie, I love her work, I'm a big fan of her work and I'm very thankful to see her today, I love the movie. I loved the film and I loved Lillian's art and I, that was part of the story for me. The other story that I saw was that creativity is its own story. And you didn't, as a filmmaker, contrive anything else, but you chased the creativity. And I thought it was breathtaking and beautiful. And, and it had a, 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 a rhythm that was really exciting for me. And I kept saying, well, what's the story about? And, I, and, I, and then at the end, I, I realized you just chased the creativity and you didn't impose yourself in the film. And I thought it, there was a brilliance to it and the simplicity. It touched me so because uh, we're from Croatia and we went back four years ago and uh, I was born here but my father was born there and we went to Korčula and I went to the church where my grandmother worshipped and uh, uh, I, I'm a painter so I can really relate to everything and uh, it was just so beautiful, so beautiful. It reminded me of our trip back to my roots and our family. And my cousins were there and they came, we were on a, a motor yacht and they came aboard. And uh, I, I just can't imagine living there after the war and through the war. And uh, it was, like I said, very touching to me. We, I helped my grandmother here uh, sew uh, canned goods into uh, uh, cardboard boxes with flower sacks. And when uh, we went over there, they, they uh, said, you know, you saved our lives. We were eating uh, roots off the grass. And anyway, the whole thing was just amazing to me absolutely amazing and so well done. I am so glad that you came to our town. Thank you. I had tears in my eyes as usual. Certain scenes bring tears to my eyes. After the screening many people came to me and um, we talked. Some of them also shed tears in the audience and everyone thought that it was a great film and I'm very happy. It's too much. It's a little too much. <laughs> this is my street. It's very sad, isn't it? 